In the summer of 2015, thousands of our customers across Lancashire were told they couldn't use tap water for drinking, cleaning teeth or food preparation. It was caused by a bug called Cryptosporidium, which we detected at our Franklaw treatment works. It was a month before water supplies were back to normal, prompting questions from you, the media and politicians. So, what happened? What was the cause? And how did we sort it out? To put this into context, in all my years of experience at United Utilities, this was the biggest single issue we've addressed. With the size of population affected and the size of response and engineering challenge that we were required to deliver and in such a short time frame. As soon as we knew there was a problem, we took immediate action. That included extensive monitoring and sampling of water from points across Lancashire to track the movement of the bug so we could work out how to get rid of it. As well as flushing pipes of any possible contamination, we started a massive engineering project to install ultraviolet rigs at our treated water storage tanks. We chose the technology because it kills crypto dead on contact. We've now fitted nine UV rigs at Franklaw and another seven at key sites around Lancashire. We're in the basement of Franklaw pumping station. Everything that leaves the water treatment works has to be pumped. And what we've got here is one of the new UV units that we've installed on the outlet. We've got lovely clean drinking water in a tank behind the wall behind me. That water is drawn through here in the pipe when the pump starts and it's pulled through this UV unit. And if there's any crypto, it doesn't get past this point alive. Our response hasn't stopped there. We now know that the cause was contaminated rainwater finding its way into our treated water storage system at Barnacre. So, all of our 364 treated water storage tanks across the northwest have been checked and found to be free of cryptosporidium. And we've put in place a more rigorous structural inspection process for these tanks. We've installed automatic shutdown at all our water treatment works so that we can stop any water which isn't of the highest quality from even entering the water network in the first place. We've paid out around £20 million in compensation to householders and businesses. And we've launched a new priority services scheme to better help our vulnerable customers. I've been in the industry 23 years and public health is always the first thing I think about in any decision that I make. So we absolutely uh, wanted to make sure we protect public health. The concentrations of crypto spreading we found at Franklin were absolutely minute, but it was the right thing to do, the sensible thing to do to issue a precautionable water advice. Very difficult, uh, really, really hard decision, but it was absolutely the right thing to do.